For Life would like to thank all of our sponsors. Mountain View Guide Service. J3 Outdoors. Lennon's Lures. Wolf Creek Products. And PCS Outdoors. The Hague Spring Clip by J3 Outdoors. Simple, fast, efficient. Hey, welcome to welcome back to Fur Life. I'm your host, Brian Flowers, here uh, trying to get acclimated here. I just came back from Florida. It was 80 some degrees. Now I'm in Michigan. I'm here in Michigan. I'm gonna meet up with my good friend John Shagden for PCS Outdoors. We're gonna be on his trap line for the next few days. Hopefully showing you some catches and stuff like that and the way what John targets around here in Michigan. So uh, that's basically what we do is we go around the, around the US to other friends and people that uh, just see what, you know, show them what their, what their techniques are and stuff in different areas. And it's like in Pennsylvania where I'm from, we don't have badger, they have badger up here, they have there's wolves up in the Upper Peninsula, stuff like that. There's no season for them, but, but it's just a different way of trapping and different style. We're right off the uh, Wasabo, um, Wasabo River, uh, right next to Lake Huron. So I mean, it's I mean it's a beautiful area. We're going to show you some scenery and stuff like that. So hope you enjoy the show, and uh, we're almost to John's house. So. Even though I have permission there, and no one else has permission. I guarantee if I went there in November and be third, there would have been all kinds of traps. These guys put them in the ditches. That one, that one, um, November 1st is when they Yeah. So when I actually go get permission, and it just ain't worth me the hassle, you know what I mean? Then I got to call landowners and say, you know, someone else is there. <laughs> I see the, the feather light strikes again. Yeah, not a feather light. Only, like I said, it wasn't a repeat of the other day where we had an otter over there that Sherry caught and Tobin had set the trap for the raccoon. But Tobin's going to be happy he got two coons in a row out of his set. So That's awesome. Yeah. What'd you bring this for? <laughs> And I, but I, I have mine up about that high. I put a lot of hay on. Okay. So it's actually, just wherever they're coming, they can actually see it. So right over there would be a good spot where it's a little lower. Perfect. Right there, especially there. Oh, I mean, you could put a mound yeah. there and then put a trap on both sides because now we got snow coming. One's going to get snowed in because the wind's going to, I mean, it's, 
Prevailing winds northwest. It doesn't matter if the trap's on the ground. That's what Crawford told me. Nope, nope. I actually, a lot of times, if it's just not if you can. too ground, yeah. you should stomp us. Now, I actually was able to on some of them. I buried them because I could. Right. This ground was frozen. Yep. No, actually, like a lot of times, just like you have here, John, I mean, you can literally see the trap through the hay. And if you put too much, now, I had too much hay to start with because this was sprung trap was extended and, it, and it, if you get too much hay it, 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 it did the hay will clog the it will clog the, the jaws night. yep and this is a but this one was worse because your bait's right here yeah bait's right there so it was it was worked oh yeah it did work it see now that's that that would have been a catch having another trap on the opposite side so now you just narrowed it down so well, you would have had good, that would have been a good picture if you that got caught in that one. That would have been great. <laughs> but here, yeah, you have one here too. But you think you'll actually catch him when it's flat on the ground like that? Yep. Oh, yeah. So I said, I, awesome I, use it, I use it as a... Because once it snows, I'll be able to see where the tracks are. Exactly. And then put the hay down. And that's, when that's, where, that's the where the hay set really shines. Yeah. It's like you get a white covered field. Now you got this big clump of hay. It's open. And that's why I got, it I got, it right I got big drags like that. And yep. uh, when I should, they should hang up. I haven't used drags for years. That's in the UP. That was all I used. Pennsylvania, I'm, I'm a good, firm believer in drags. Okay. Maine, we're not allowed to use drags. But you use them when you're fox trapping, eh? Uh, I'm, fox, no. Oh, okay. Fox, but no. Kind of but if I'm going, if I'm going for fox or and coyote, then yeah, I'll use a drag. What happened is. I got rid of all my drags because in the rule book, in the rule book, it says that it says that you can't use and it does compress because when I first had the hay here, it uh, you yes. know what I mean. Yeah. But basically, a lot more hay than what I'm using. Mm -hmm. But sticks out when it's all white and you put it does. Now, I can see that it will work out in this area. I think there's only one or two places that. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, there's a beautiful, beautiful trail right here. So, with that dug out, it's not like a natural wood stream, it's like a foot and a half of uh, loose muck. Huh. So, what do you do? Come through and dredge it? What they, I said, what'd they do? Come through and dredge it and... Yeah, and oh, peek over the hill here. Oh, yeah. See yeah. that? Yep. See how big the hole is? There's yeah. your badger. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if I can't get a pack in there. Huh. So they're basically just like the, just like the woodchuck. Yeah. We just That's had a awesome. foothold in there. That's awesome. Hmm. I just it's just cool to see them little bulldozers in action. I mean they just bulldoze the whole area up. I guess it's possible. I just don't think that is when it's this cold. Yeah. Oh, the raccoon, the raccoon trails, boy. They're, there's, that's there's, what they are. Wow. But they all travel the same trail. Yeah, right. You have to watch. The bigger ones are deer. Mm -hmm. But that ain't deer trail there. Yeah, because it goes right underneath the, right underneath the, the railing there. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to get it in here. Nice. Just too. And then it ain't no good if it ain't under the water here because right. of the frozen. Yeah, because it'll freeze right up. Yeah. Perfect spag once I get it in there.
Just like that. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Yeah, it's moving a little, so. It'll probably stay I here. I have to break it each night, you know what I mean? But right. we're yeah, still going to drive. It's a two-day check on the water, but we're already coming through, you know what I mean? Right. And when it only takes a minute. The only thing I do then is make sure the clearest path, and you still want to dive just like you do a lot. Some dive sticks. Yeah, huh? make them just make them go under. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. When uh did I bring another one? Yeah. Yep, you did. Wow. Ice got thicker. Just like that, just drop them in. What's that? Just drop it in, that's perfect. Yeah, take a rake tomorrow. <clears throat> Michigan beaver. <laughs> well, that's the thing about body grips. They don't, they don't discriminate. No. So it's pretty much whatever's in there. Uh, a little more. Yeah, put a little more. Yeah. That means that's a, we got an adult and a, and a kit, so we guarantee there's at least, at least two more. Takes two to there's, make there's, a baby, huh? That's right, there's two, at least we know there's one, at least one more adult in here, and at least, at least one kit. I think that other place that we set, someone must have got them sooner in the season. It could be, yeah. Uh, but, never know. It could just be an elusive. those in first. Oh, I got this hard that down. So I can take my feet and drive it in. Right? Yep. Yep. over my boots.
You gotta bring this one. Yeah, we'll just keep it. Because I was gonna say that's about yeah. must be about five feet deep in front of that culvert. Yeah, I thought it was too deep, eh? Yeah. Well, it is. That's what's nice about that uh, that Comstock cage trap because it'll either flow on the very top, very bottom. Oh yeah. I stack two cages around right on top of each other, and you still got room. Then I'll put a Connie with a or, uh, body grip. Does it work like a uh, muskrat colony? Like that. Does it one-way door? No, it was. Yeah, one. It's the triggers in the, actually in the center of the trap on them. Okay. But they're a power door. So once they shut, they're closed. Okay. And then, with, and then if you have room yet, like with two cages on top of that, then I'll stick a. A body gripper yeah. and a KB stabilizer huh. right on top of that, and you got the whole water column taken care of.
John Chagnon. We got a nice red fox on a hay mound set using Leonard's nature call. He went all the way across the field, but there was snow to track it using a Bridger 3 Douglas in the snow. Five foot or six foot of chain and a MB Trailblazer drag. But we're gonna get him dispatched and we'll show you the hay mound afterwards. Okay. Got a nice red fox on a hay mound set. See that big old Trailblazer drag. Number three Douglas. Offset Bridger with six foot of chain. There's the hay mound. Wonderful location. That fox came right up the trail here. Then uh, he went all the way across that field and he was at that wood line when he got caught. But in the snow, that drag left a nice. Uh, Nice trail, but perfect place to catch a red fox. Multiple travel ways, red fox. Landon's nature call lure.